Welcome to the fourth video of the multimodal development with OpenAI course. In this video, we'll learn how to use OpenAI API key in Python. We'll use the local environment that we had set up in the last video. If you have missed the last video, I've posted the links to the entire course in the description below. So let's get started. I've opened up my terminal here. I went into my virtual environment directory and I've activated my virtual environment. Post that, I've typed in Jupyter Lab to open up my Jupyter IDE, which opens up in the browser here. Here, I've created a new Jupyter notebook, named it Call OpenAI using Python. Here in the first line, I've imported OpenAI and then I've imported OS. And then I'm creating an OpenAI object by passing in the API key directly. I've named the object client. Now we'll use this client object to call the chat completion endpoint. We can do that by calling this method, chat.completions.create. This method takes in two input parameters. The first one being the model name. Now in this particular course, we are only interested in the multimodal enabled models, right? Which are GPT-40 Mini and GPT-40. GPT-40 Mini is the latest one and the cheapest one. So we'll go with that. The second parameter that we are passing is a message list. In this, we pass in the list of the messages that sets up the context for this particular conversation. Here, I've passed in two message objects. The first one being system message system message sets the behavior of the assistant for example in this particular case i mentioned you are a helpful assistant and then in the second message i have passed in the user query which says what is the full form of who when i run this and when i print uh, the content part of the completion object i get this result the full form of who is world health organization this is what we were looking for. So in this particular example, I've hard coded the key here, but you can also store the API key in a .env file in the same directory and then uncomment this code. This will basically load your .env file into an environment variable. And the variable that you have defined here, OpenAI API key, this will be set up as an environment variable whose value you can get at runtime. That way you can avoid the hard coding. Moving on. Now, in this particular example, you saw that the system message we passed was you are a helpful assistant. What if we need the response in a JSON format? Well, we can modify the system message as follows. You are a helpful assistant designed to output JSON and we get the output in JSON format. But what happens if we run the same code again? System message is same, user message is same, but the output is different, right? Now, if this continues like this, then we won't be able to get consistent output from the LLM. We can use function calling to set a specific format of JSON object that is returned by the LLM. We'll see that in one of the future videos. In the next video, we'll learn how to send an image file to OpenAI via chat completion API. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next one.